No. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Welcome to my house. Welcome to my apartment in City Center, Jerusalem. I love this apartment. You guys have seen the title. It cost $1,100. And I honestly really think that it's a good bargain for City Center, Jerusalem, although it is still very, very expensive. But let me take you guys on a tour and you guys can see all the cool things. Let's get to it. Welcome to the little tiny baby entrance. As you can see, I have a full-length body mirror behind me, which is really good because in a place as small as this, you don't actually have a lot of wall space to hang up something like that. So I am very, very grateful. And it also reflects the light, which is good. What I'm also grateful about in this apartment is that there's a lot of storage. So this used to be one big apartment, meaning this apartment and the one next to it was one apartment. And of course they're financially wise, so they split it into two because they make more money that way. But I will show you guys how efficient they are because I have all of this space. This space is basically one of, it's funny to say, but one of my favorite spaces because it's for cleaning <laughs> and I like to have a clean space. Everything that I need for cleaning, I can just put over here. It's not where you can see it, which I actually like. And then over here, we have another one of my favorite spaces because I have a washing machine. Now, here's the thing. A lot of apartments in Israel don't have enough space for the washing machine. My sister used to live in this apartment and so she left me her washing machine that was perfect for this little cupboard. What I don't really like about it is that it's also my pantry. I feel a bit funny about putting food inside little boxes over my laundry machine, but it's the only space for it. So we're just gonna have to make it work. There's enough storage space here. And not only that, but there is storage for things above. You can also see if you sort of pan all the way up there, there is more space, which is amazing because I shoved there all the things that I really don't need and it's a little storage space. So my entrance, ta-da! Okay. So this is the kitchen. What I like about this kitchen and actually about this whole apartment is that everything here is custom built. So you can see all of the storage and all of the uh, closet space and everything. It's all the same color. It's perfect and flush to the wall. And it used to be actually an Airbnb. So you can see here what they did is that they put dairy and meat for the sink and the same for the drawers. You might have noticed also something really funny that doesn't usually belong in a kitchen, which is my TV. <laughs> but I bought this TV way before I knew that I was going into this apartment. And honestly, it is way too big for this space. But once we go through the rest of the apartment, you will see that this was actually the better option of putting it up there because there is actually no other space to put it in. Because there's not a lot of space here is that I would be able to use all of the counter space. And so Ikea has the best hacks in the world. Another thing that Israeli apartments uh, often don't have is a stove top, <laughs> either gas or electric. So sometimes you have to go out and buy one of these little buddies. It does actually make a lot of noise. It makes like this huge like fan noise. Um, but you know what? I have one and it's good. And also another thing that a lot of Israeli houses do not have or apartments is one of these. They often do not have an oven. So this is a little toaster oven, but that serves as an oven. And of course it is not a gift from my sister, but she is lending it to me. So I am very happy with it. Over here, which is basically one step away from the kitchen is the living room. What I like about this living room is that somehow there is space for everything. So I can have the sofa right in front of the TV, but it was really, really important to me to fit a sofa inside of here, but also to fit things that would sort of make my life practical in this small space because I really love having people over, but this place really isn't big enough for a lot of people. So what I did is that I bought this sofa, which the story for that is in a vlog up here somewhere. And I also bought this ottoman. This ottoman is basically like multi-purpose. So it serves as a coffee table, it serves as seating, and it also serves as more storage space because I noticed that I didn't have enough space for 
towels and beddings and things like that so it is all hiding in there it's really good to have a separating space when you work from home so I am a content creator and a writer and if I don't have that separation it's not a good thing because I was here for about five weeks without a sofa and everything I did was from my bed people it is not a good idea if you can get a sofa get a sofa but yes this is my little living space this is my bedroom which basically means that it is right next to the living room and right into the kitchen because it is a studio apartment but what was here before because this was an airbnb two single beds that make one bed so according to judaism should i even go into this oh um, yeah. you guys can research according to judaism why they have two separate beds but basically it's two separate beds that make one bed and the mattress wasn't really to my liking it was a bit hard so i decided to take my mattress which i brought all the way from the states in a box and put it over this and what was important for me was that my bed space would feel luxurious now i know that this is like way too many pillows for anyone to need for any reason but i decided that i was going to make it feel as cozy as possible also for the fact that it's not entirely flush against the wall so i needed a back support with pillows so that's what i decided to do i wanted to create a little bit of separation with the canopy and the flower thingy that i put on top um, just to make it feel a bit more enclosed and nice and this is where i rest and i can swivel the tv around and watch it and buttercup likes it too right yes this tiny thingy is my closet it's very small and very compactic and so when i got here <laughs> that's not a word it's not a word very compact compact yeah this is the closet and it has enough space for what i need the challenge for me will be now in the winter where i actually do have to hang a lot of coats and things like that is there's not a lot of hanging space so comment down below if you have any suggestions for what i can do with that down here is the shoe space little tiny shoe drawer i don't have a lot of shoes but for now it will suffice this space i think was important to me to have because storage and because it gives me drawer space it gives me sort of like a dropping space if i need to put my bag or my keys or whatever i just put it here and also it's just a little bit of artwork welcome to the bathroom this is actually a really good size bathroom for an israeli apartment but also a studio apartment i'm actually very grateful that i have enough space to stand because in my old apartment in jerusalem city center i literally would open the door stand and then it was my shower my sink and my toilet and you can only just swivel in place <laughs> also i have a little tiny mini google home here which i like to put on podcast or worship in the morning one thing that i really do love is music and having music while you take a shower or do whatever is a nice thing so the rest of the bathroom is basically self-explanatory but i try to make sure that everything had its own proper space and also it didn't look too cluttery because when you have small spaces like this it's easy for it to look sort of like too much for the eye so i tried to keep it minimalistic and uh, try to also keep all of my green plants alive. So not all apartments look this good, you would be surprised, but a lot of them don't have big windows like they, I have. They don't have this nice bathroom floor that I have. You can see that it's basically, it's like old, old Jerusalem, Israel, but modern, and it just keeps a nice sort of atmosphere in this place because the rest of it is white. And if you come over here, I have a standing shower. Buttercup's bathroom is in here, but for one person, it is a really good size. Behind me, on the outside, is where I hang some of my laundry. I will not show it to you guys because it's not that important, but you should know that I have it because when you don't have a balcony, you have to manage. You guys saw my apartment. It is very tiny, itty bitty small, 
but I really love it. If you don't live in an apartment building, there are things that you pay for that you don't really have to otherwise. In Israel, you have something which is called Vadbait, which is basically money that you pay for the maintenance of the building. Anything from the door code in the entrance of the building to the person cleaning the stairwell or even the elevator, any type of maintenance that needs to happen, you also pay for that. I wish that I could break down my bills for you guys, but I can't because I'm sharing an apartment. My $1,100 goes to this apartment, electricity, water, bad bite, and also internet. I don't know if you guys can hear the music in the background, but this apartment does not have double glass on the windows, which is something that if you have that in city center, it is a huge blessing because it really does cut out a lot of the noise. I live in a central sort of off center area, which there are a lot of, you know, restaurants and cafes around and everything is walking distance and it's really nice. It has a lot of young and artistic people around. And so you get a lot of cool things happening on the street down below, or you see protests that happened before. I will show you guys a little tiny snippet of that as I speak. And it's also very green, which is something that I really like. There's trees everywhere and it's really nice. And I, I love this place. It's a different vibe, but I think it fits the vibe that I am right now in life as a 31 year old that needs a little tiny bit of quiet. This is my apartment tour or studio apartment tour in city center Jerusalem. If you are new here, then welcome and feel free to subscribe. And if you're not new here, then welcome back. And thank you to Hang Money for filming. And I will see you guys in a vlog very, very soon.